Welcome back to DBL. Kevin Frazier, longtime friend of the show, is celebrating the milestone launch of the 40th season. That's right, you heard me, the 40th season of Entertainment Tonight. I got a chance to catch up with Kevin earlier in today's Chatting with the Stars. Kevin Frazier, welcome back to DBL. Now, Kev, let's be honest, uh, it's been a crazy couple months. Just let us know, like, just what have you been up to yeah. since the last time we saw you? I've been home. And I have been at home shooting the show. We have a amazing studio crew and, you know, hair, makeup, wardrobe, everything to me trying to dodge my children. And um, <laughs> at first, my kids had so much reverence for me, but then it all, it turned around and they were just like, this dude's shooting again. Yeah. Can he hurry up and get through this show? Like, they don't care about adult stuff. So. Right, exactly. <laughs> Kids just don't care. They're like, look, yeah, you're on the TV. Could you turn to SpongeBob, please? Exactly. It's way more important than you. This pandemic will do that to everybody. And, uh, you know, obviously the pandemic yep. has been good and kind of shown us funny things, but it's also made us deal with, like, horrible situations like the George Floyd situation and be at home and kind of all experience yeah. it together. Uh, you went to his memorial. Uh, can you tell us what it was like to be there? Yeah. You know, it was an amazing moment in time because it was one of the first times where I've ever seen a city stop in so many young people, some black, most white, who were there to support this change, this cause, and they understood it, and they came to listen, and they wanted to hear and understand how they could play a part in changing the world and making it a more fair and equitable place. Seeing the stars there, Kevin Hart, Tyrese, Ludacris, Will Packer, but it was bigger than the pandemic. This was a moment. Interesting year to say the least. We've asked our viewers this question, so Kevin, I have to ask you too. Should the late yeah. great Chadwick Boseman be replaced as Black Panther or should the franchise end where it is now? I don't think the franchise should end. I think that if you follow the storyline forward in a creative way and Letitia Wright becomes the Black Panther as she did in the comics, it, it works. But I don't think you replace Chadwick. You figure out a way to honor him and fit his passing into the storyline. If you remember with Fast and Furious, Paul they Walker figured out a way to move forward after Paul Walker passed away. Uh, you know, Hollywood has obviously taken a pandemic, but some productions are still underway, even blockbusters like Jurassic World Dominion. So what do you think post COVID yeah. Hollywood could look like? Will it look like you still in your house? We were invited to a set in Puerto Rico, but we were like, we're not going. Um, I have a very good friend starting a movie today in Toronto. He had to fly up to Canada and quarantine for two weeks in a hotel room. They track you by your phone. There's no hanging out. There's no going out. You're eating room service. And if you walk out, you start your two weeks again, Ooh. over again. The process will be longer. Movie making will get harder, but we need movies coming through the pipeline right now. We're running dry. We're running out of content. And so it's very important that, you know, everything gets working again, but in a very safe way. And that's the thing. There's enough movie magic out there that you can fix it and you can cheat things and you can green screen them, but we have to get moving again. Before we wrap up, uh, let, me, <laughs> <laughs> let me just say this. We got to talk about the milestone. My brother, Entertainment Tonight is celebrating 40 seasons. Ooh. Let me say that again so everybody hears it. 40 seasons. How are you feeling right now? Old. No, I mean, <laughs> thankfully I wasn't here for all 40, but I was here for, I've been here for um, a long run since 2004. And look, it is amazing to be able to sit in this seat at the program that is considered the gold standard, that the entertainment news business all comes from this place right here. So I, it's never lost on me the privilege or the honor to be here. And we have so many special things planned for this 40th season. We will not let the pandemic rain on our parade. Big interviews, big stars, and lots of big exclusives. Kevin, uh, the, uh, I don't know how this is gonna hit you, but uh, look, you've been an inspiration in my career. I consider you one of the all-time greats oh. already. You do your job with dignity and class, and you're hilarious. Uh, I just uh, want to thank you on behalf of everybody. Thank you for being in our living rooms all these years. And it will continue because I want you guys to all remember not to miss Kevin on Entertainment Tonight. Kevin, thanks so much for chatting, and we'll see you guys real soon.